Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Uh, this video will act as a video manual for program number three for the 9-in-1 uh, escape, multi-escape room prop set. So if you haven't already, uh, check out some of our previous videos. This board supports uh, nine different programs and uh, it comes with a heck of a lot of hardware. Not all of it is shown here. Uh, this video is just going to serve as the video manual for uh, program number th three, which is um, a key-based prop set. So the idea here is we plug in the three keys, uh, we power it up. When all keys are found, insert it into the mountable key slots, um, and turn right simultaneously, the electromagnetic lock deactivates. So this is a, a, more of a simple prop. prop. It's a supplementary prop. Uh, very easy to put together. So I'm going to quickly go over uh, how to set it up, and then I'm going to give a demonstration. Start in program three, we want to turn on switch two of the three-pin dip switch. I've covered these steps uh, several times in the previous video, so I'm going to just quickly go over them. Uh, connect the stereo, included stereo cable uh, from the audio output jack to the stereo input jack of your computer speakers or Bose player or stereo system. Make sure that this jumper is on the A side and not on the B side. They are labeled on the board A and B. And lastly, uh, for setup, or for this portion of the setup, we want to have our electromagnetic lock connected. Now, there's two terminals here. The top one is labeled RED, bottom is BLK. I've got my electromagnetic lock extended via uh, wire, wire extensions. Uh, in this case, the solid color, which is blue, goes in red. And the white, which will be a common denominator, will always be black, the negative of your uh, electromagnetic lock. So place the uh, solid color in the top terminal, white in the bottom terminal. There are three key slots. Uh, key 3, which is a 2-pin header. Key 2, which is a 2-pin header. You can't see the uh, labeling, says they're on the opposite side of the board. And you can see and there's only a shadow there because my camera can't pick it up. And then there's the 3-pin header. We use that 3-pin header on the left for our coin slot prop, uh, but we also use the middle and right pin for uh, our key prop. Now this is very important. When you plug in your key here, you want to make sure not, do nothing with the 12 volt line. It's labeled 12 volts and it's labeled key 1. You want to make sure that your one of your key modules is connected to the middle pin and the right pin. Leave the left pin out of it. So we're going to connect all three of our uh, key modules and again you can mount each one. Each key module has a, uh, a mounting nut and it comes with two keys. So three key modules, six keys total. With that all set up, we want to make sure that all keys are turned left left on power up. Then ideally you would hide the keys in uh, your game puzzles. Once they're all found, placed in the sockets and all turned right within 200 milliseconds of each other, uh, you'll deactivate the lock. If not, what happens is the, the unit will talk to you. And uh, I'm going to show you that right now. Now, when I actually try to deactivate the prop myself, uh, I'm going to be holding all three keys in one hand and trying to turn them with a few fingers. Uh, obviously, you'd have these mounted in different spots so different people had to insert the keys uh, and turn them so that you couldn't do it with just one person. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll power it up and I'll give you a demonstration. Power up. Program three. Electromagnetic lock is, is uh, magnetized. So if I turn one of them, as you can see, I'm just going to turn the one. Code keys not turned simultaneously. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. And that will continue to happen. Now I have to turn it back to the original position before the program keeps going. So I'm going to stop the video now because it might take me a couple tries to use two hands to turn all three keys at the same time. So bear with me. Okay. So I've already kind of got the keys started. What I'm going to have to do is be very careful. Magnetic lock deactivated. And in order to reset the system, I simply have to turn all of them left. Magnetic lock activated. And that resets the system. Now I can simply do the same thing again. If I turn all of them at the same time, uh, it'll deactivate. If I don't... Code keys not turned simultaneously. Turn all keys left to their original position and try again. So that is program three. It's easily the simplest prop, uh, but it's a fun one. Uh, it's easy to set up. It takes all of three or four minutes to set up. Uh, next will be uh, next video will be our first RFID prop, where we take three RFID readers, program in our cards, and uh, each one acts as an access card. And when all three readers have received the signal from their access cards, will the electromagnetic lock become deactivated. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, check us out at escaperoomelectronics.com. Take care, everyone.